What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a Barbarian Whirlwind Wrath of the Way set for you guys today. We finally are getting into our Barbarian stuff. Now, if it wasn't for DH having such a crazy start to the season, I would have started Barbarian and I really look forward to ending the season with Barb uh, for season 27 because the pull power that we have on our shoulders here is absolutely insane. It pulls and holds all enemies within 25 yards. So, we're as usual guys in our videos we're going to go over uh everything that you're going to need for the build how to play it all the stat priorities all that good stuff but you already know that we are going to be rocking a gr90 okay so how the build works guys before we hop into this gr90 is is i've built the i've built this a little bit different than your conventional build so what you're going to do is you're just going to mercifully ferociously charge around the map with whirlwind and deal all your damage through there and then we're going to keep all of these uh on permanent uptime or try to so let's do this all right uh, kind of a bad one here so you charge in proc everything and just roll as you guys can see the build like literally plays itself i wish we could get a better map than this one but that's okay so this build is really really fun it is also the uh season herodrix cube for barbarian if you started off with barb or if you did not know that already but the build is absolutely insane. I mean, now I'm pressing a lot more keys and doing more stuff than a typical whirlwind build would do. Oh my god, they're giving us just the crappiest of uh, maps here. But yes, so the build is pretty, pretty easy to use. As you see, we just whirlwind around. We're going to keep our ferocious charge up, which helps procs to our focus and restraint. And then we're going to be popping our threatening shout and then our, uh, what is this? Or ignore pain every time you need it in gr 90s i don't think you really need the ignore pain except for maybe in the beginning or when you when you pop a pylon but as you guys can see as long as there's monsters around that we can keep our up times on all of our skills particularly wrath of the berserker is the main one now the build can function and still do a lot of damage without wrath of the berserker actually active but we want to try to keep this up the entire time and we have a couple of ways that we're going to do that, uh, which we'll go over in the gear section of the video, guys. But you guys can see it. You just whirlwind around. You do nothing. And you just kill everything. All of our skills are permanently procced. This was a good throw to kind of like end it on in a way as I'm missing stuff here. But the build is so cool. It's super fast. It's probably one of the best gr 90 90 or like gr farming builds in the game right now it is hard to compete with uh impaled dh but this is really good as you can see we crushed this in two minutes guys pretty pretty solid uh we're gonna level up these gems and i'll see you back in town for the gear all right guys we're back in town let's crush this we did it in just under two minutes which is what you are striving for when it comes to gr speed farming in diablo 3. okay so let's go over the build everything that you guys are going to need for it and then kind of some different options uh, that we like to do in our videos just for some different things that you can do for the build now with the release of angelic crucibles and the whirlwind power which may be going on record maybe the strongest power in the season whirlwind is just amazing the build was already good but now this makes it even better especially for gr pushing so we got the whirlwind power on here we're going with the full complete wrath of the way set because everything is going to be done through wind while we're whirlwinding which is fantastic so we're rocking all six pieces we're not rocking ring of royal grandeur we're rocking all six pieces now in addition to this you guys are going to need lamentation which now allows ren to stack two times on an enemy and increases its damage and then we have Mortrix Brace, which gives Wrath of the Berserker every single room, which is fantastic. We want to be in Wrath of the Berserker non-stop, okay? <clears throat> of course, we paired this with Squirt's Necklace, guys, for more damage, and then Focus and Restraint for even more damage. Okay, our weapons, you cannot do the build without um, Ambo's Pride. This allows you to apply Ren while you're Whirlwinding, and the total damage of Ren is dealt over a second instead of the longer time that it would take normally okay rend applies over five seconds now it's a second fantastic you have to have this sword <clears throat> in addition to that guys sorry we just ate some food and i just got you know sorry but in addition to that guys we uh we threw in the echoing fury 
to when we slay enemies, we get the 25% increase attack speed and move speed just to get around the map even faster. In my testing, I found that this is really, really good. Uh, in the section where we talk about other options, there's definitely some, but I really enjoy Echoing Fury. Okay, so that's the gear that you're going to need for the build, guys. The gems that we opted in for was for Bane of the Trapped, which is super good for more damage. Uh, Taeguk, which gives us more damage when we spend a... Uh, resource on a channeled skill which is going to be whirlwind constantly and then more armor and then i chose to do bane of the stricken this is where we get a little bit dicey here i like bane of the stricken because as we're dealing more damage um, or more attacks on the same enemy they take increased damage and then in the testing i found that rift guardians you know this is all about pulling and doing big groups and mobs of monsters so the rift guardian can be a little troublesome sometimes so i got the bane of the stricken for the increased damage there all right, guys, into the queue, we got Messer Schmidt's Reaver. This is one of the items that's going to help us keep our cooldowns up and just keep our abilities on permanent uptime, especially Wrath of the Berserker. This build is so dependent on cooldown that it needs to be absolutely everywhere. So we have Messer, Pitch, Messer Schmidt's Reaver when we're uh, hitting it or when we slay an enemy, it reduces it. We got Mantle of Channeling for more damage and reduced damage while we're uh, whirlwinding. And then Band of Might, as we Furious Charge, we get a big 80% damage reduction. So that's what we got in the cube, guys. Very, very strong. Into our skills, of course, we have Red Bloodbath, which is just insane. Whirlwind Wind Shear. The reason we have Wind Shear is because our six-piece set gives us the Dust Devils already. So we have the benefit of both to keep our Fury at maximum. Furious Charge, Merciless Assault. So then that way we get to, as we smash into enemies, the timer will reset. So we can keep on doing that, which is great. I opted in for Threatening Shout, which is fantastic, which is Falter. Uh, while this is going, enemies within 25 yards take 25% increased damage from all sources. And then Ignore Pain Br Bravado for damage reduction. And then Wrath of Berserker. You can pick any rune, it doesn't matter. You're going to get all of them, which is great. Now into our passives, I wanted nothing but damage. With Echoing Fury and then Whirlwinding Around and Furious Charge, I didn't want there there's really no need for any more additional move speed so i want nothing but damage so we got berserker rage for 25 percent increased damage ruthless for more damage when enemies are low boon of the both kathos to keep our cooldowns going and then rampage for more damage as we kill stuff now in the cube and skills guys there's a couple different options that you can take in here before we get into the uh stat priorities but we'll talk about those in just a sec in our stat priorities, guys, in the helm, you're gonna want strength, vitality, or excuse me, strength, crit chance, and then rend damage. In our shoulders, I opted to put the power on here. You can put the power on a weapon if you'd like. It doesn't matter. Shoulders are really hard to roll, so I decided to put it on here. Strength, all resist, cooldown, rend damage. Gloves, you want strength, crit chance, crit damage, uh, and cooldown instead of area damage. The chest, you want strength, vitality, rend damage. Amulet, you want <clears throat> damage, crit, crit. Bracers, physical skills, strength, vit, crit, chance. The belt, you want strength, vit, all resist, life. Pants, you want strength, vitality, all resist, not armor. In the rings, both of these are going to be the same. You're going to want damage, crit, crit. On our boots, you want strength, vitality, all resist, and armor. Okay? Into our weapons, in abimbos, you want damage strength cooldown and then you're going to want damage percentage that really works or crit chance uh in echoing fury the same thing you want damage percent damage strength cooldown so those are our stat priorities into the build guys so let's talk about a few things that you could do differently for the build which i think is really cool instead of <clears throat> ruthless if you wanted a little bit more speed you could do pound of flesh you could also swap this out for relentless or even animosity which would be fine either one of those is really good on the off chance you could do brawler if you get a really good mob but with speed farms you're going to kill stuff so fast this really isn't going to apply but one of those is really good i just opted for all uh damage now in your skills there's a lot of flexibility here as you can see i didn't really need ignore pain i was kind of just killing everything so you could swap this out for like ground stomp sprint for even more moods move speed or you could do another um tactics ability like war cry you could do war cry veterans warning or battle rage bloodshed same thing here with threatening shout you could opt in for one of those or you could do grim harvest 
which will make them drop health clothes. And then if you swap rootless for pound, pound of flesh. So as you kill stuff, you get a chance for them to drop a health globe and then you get increased um, life regen and movement for 15 seconds, stacking up to five times, which is great. So you get a 20% move increase. So those are really cool abilities that you can uh, swap in here. These two are probably the biggest ones that you could really play around with, uh, mainly for just the tactics and the war cries. Other than that, everything else needs to stay the same. But you have some flexibility there. Now in the weapons, if you really didn't like Echoing Fury, you could opt in for um, Ingium, which will help reset all of your skills, which is fine every time you kill an elite mob. That's also really good. That's the only other weapon I would choose to put in here if you really, really wanted. So you have that option. Um, inside the cube, uh, you definitely want to keep Band of Might and Mantle of Channeling, but you could swap in your weapon here and you could do Furnace, which will give you increased damage against elites. Now, at the GR90 or lower, or really just GR90 speed farm, with this build, you shouldn't have any problem killing anything. So you definitely want to keep the cooldowns on your stuff. But if you really felt like you needed to do more damage against the Rift Guardian or just Elites, then do Furnace. But I really like Mesher Schmidt's Reaver just for the cooldown reduction, okay? Because against all the trash, you're going to be slaying out everything. That thing should reset constantly. So those are the options, guys. The, that is the build, the Whirlwind Wrath of the Waste set for Season 27 in Diablo 3. I've been having an absolute blast with this build, and I'm really excited to bring it to you guys today. So I'll probably be finishing out the season with this after we get through all the different build guides and everything that we're doing for you guys this season. We're probably going to finish strong with Barbarian because I just the ability is just too strong not to play. So that's the build, guys. Let me know if you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. As always, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All the support is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys again. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what do you think about the build? What are you running if you are a bar main in Wrath of the Waste or what kind of things you would do differently? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.